there, welcome to today's episode of Trending. I'm your host as always, my name is Nancy Isimed. It's so good to have you join me on today's show. I hope everybody's feeling good and you feel bright and it's such a beautiful day and I hope you're having fun so far. Well, it is time for Trending and as you know, Trending is brought to you by our darling sponsors, Airtel. On this show, we discuss all things trending and we bring you every topic that is trending and everyone that is trending. It's all about trending, 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 trending. But before I start to trend with my guest for today, please allow me to go on a short break and when we come back it'll be time for trending <laughs> right back guys stay with me welcome back guys today's topic of the day is starting a career in nollywood as an actor now nigeria's nollywood is no doubt one of the biggest movie industries in the world today and so a lot of people want to be a part of it not because maybe they want to uh, but because they believe that they have the necessary requirements to be part of it. Now we have actors, we have scriptwriters, we have directors, we have producers, just to mention a few. However, it is quite difficult for some people to get into Nollywood these days. You know, not because they're not good enough, but because they don't really know how to go about it. Now, some organizations have noticed this, and that's why we, they have, you know, organized competitions at different levels for individuals who they believe have one talent or the other as regards filmmaking. Now, some of the successful actors today in Nollywood participated in one filmmaking reality TV show or the other. We could say it was easy for them, but what about those who it wasn't easy for? I know it's never easy for anybody. I mean, I'm an actor. It is never easy. But how about those that they can't even get in no matter how hard they try? Today on Trending, I have with me Beru, who has been staring me down, he's like, <laughs> I'm like, what? Stop looking at me like that. You are making me forget my words. But I have today, Beru Ajibu. <laughs> It's really you're talking really fast, like a part. I, mean, I used to rap back in the days. Oh, yeah, now I see why you changed I'm, profession. Yes, when I called you for that rap show that you came and you supported me. Right you know, it was really good, you didn't continue. Yeah. I never rapped by the way. Miro <laughs> <laughs> was taking it too far. But no, before you go and say that, eh? There was never you would trend. You would no, trend. Yeah. Nancy would trend. No, Nancy no, was no. a rapper. I'm fine here. Yeah. But how are you? I'm good. I'm so good. It's good to have you. It's always fun to have my friends on set. I know, right? How Feels good to be back. Yes. Very well. I love this. This is very nice. Thank you. I'm all published today. I love purple. Yeah. I actually prefer black and in this. But let's talk about you. It's not about me. <laughs> let's talk about your style today. Uh, tell us what you're wearing and the inspiration behind it. Oh, I take this to be nothing. You know, this boiled down to my mood today. Okay. Yeah, but this was from Benue State. You know, I grew up in Benue. Yes. You see, this is the um, Angie. Oh. The tea people, this is what they wear. So you still feel like you're a part of Benue people, right? I see myself as a Benue man. Mm. You know, I'm just Yoruba, but Benue is my orientation. Benue is my thought process. Right. Can you speak? Iye dina. One. One iye dina. Oriye. Nyari guga. Eh kwasi. I'm speaking. I'm speaking to this <laughs> song for you. Anybody who brings Benue, just like. Swala! Sing to basis of so you can speak Benue really well. I can try. I What's can it try. called? Is it Benue? Is it called Benue? Well, um, Benue is basically made of teeth and idoma. Ah, so right. this is representing teeth. Oh. But people say I look more like the idoma stuff. Really? Mm. But you look good, whatever you look like, it's okay. Uh, I think I'm just joking, you should know by now. <laughs> oh, one, 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 <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us, let's talk about the topic of the day, which is Nollywood, which we are part of. You mm -hmm. know, tell me, how can you describe the growth of Nolly of the Nollywood industry so far compared to how it was years back when the veterans were still in business? Um, I mean, after all said and done, I would say the growth is there, which is most important. Forget all what people say, mm -hmm. forget the critics, forget um at the fact that most people are not satisfied at the speed, but mm -hmm. for me, what is most important is that day after day we're growing. Exactly. So one day we would get there. We'll definitely get there. Definitely, how definitely. You, how did you even get into Nollywood? My sister, if I story. tell you the story. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, from Benue State, which um, I would just suffice of the story is the mm -hmm. fact that I was frustrated by the course I was given okay. when I was in school, Benue State University. Okay. You know, so. Um, I was meant to read medicine. Mm -hmm. Now, let me take you back a bit. I did uh, Makoda International School, Master Gabriel Secondary School. So I had this group of friends that okay. we made up our minds that, yo, we've done primary school, we've done secondary school, university, we'll never be in Benue State. Mm. Lo and behold, we found ourselves in Benue State University. Yeah, you wow. know, so um, I was waiting for jam, 
um, to read medicine in the University okay. of Jos. I, I, had, I was forced to do um, biology. I hated my course. You know, so frustration made me join the clique CMS, you know, correct men's syndrome. Correct know. men's syndrome. I was always telling us that time. So there's just a, a bunch of men who thought they were correct men. Exactly. And we tried to represent in every level. So we were a hundred in every level apart from entertainment, which was right. where I had to represent the boys in Mr. BSU. Okay. And that was where I loved the spontaneous reaction I got from the stage, which I won, you know. Oh, okay. Then I'm like, okay, I can actually do this professionally. So mm -hmm. I moved down to Lagos. Lagos came to Assembly Modeling. That's where I met Nancy Simet. Yes, as a model, we go yeah, way back, way back you know. So, um, even since when things we came through, they told me to see TV commercial for Mnet. Right. You know, yeah, if they told me to have to do actor, I'd have run away. Right. Yeah, you know. So I got there. You know, I scaled through. They called me back, and the good part was the fact that they take us through a series of workshops at the beginning of every season. So okay. that's like going that to film school. Exactly, yeah. and it absolutely shaped your career as an actor. As an actor, you even cut your hair. Why did you cut your hair? By the way, was it for acting, or it was because everybody thought that it was because you're taking a new step in a new direction? It's in funny. Direction, it's anyway. one of the people that have been against me touching my hair. It was us. Okay. You know, so um, that was just, I just used the wedding, my wedding as a wonderful opportunity, you okay. know, because I've been carrying the hair for 12 years, Nancy. Yeah. Now, let me just make it clear out here. This mm -hmm. is, it's not about the fact that I was getting married. Yes, it was mm -hmm. a good day to surprise. seize the opportunity, you know, yeah. to surprise everybody. Yeah, and surprise even her. Even I, her. I learned that you oh, walked in there. Like, oh, yeah. Ready. Trust me, even my brother, my father, and everybody that was there, like, they saw me the previous night because it happened around 2 a.m. They saw me oh, the previous wow. night, and I was like, yo, daddy's like, wait, who? Where's my son? Oh, that's him, you know. So I love the feeling I, I, I got, but it was it brought down to the fact that sicker. no, relax. It <laughs> you brought down to the glory on that day. <laughs> you were like, Osas, the treasure already was for you. This is for me. Let me take the attention. <laughs> it brought down to the fact that I was carrying the hair for about twelve years. Okay. You know, you know how the industry is. Apart from the fact that it it kind of made me stiff mm -hmm. because uh, I couldn't be as flexible as we I could be. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so um, it was just a wonderful opportunity. And that was a time when um, I was alone to myself, okay. you know. I took time off just like the night before, you know, to, to just think. think. Okay. Yeah, so. Great, because as, act as actors, sometimes we need opportunities to actually cut our hair. So I, I got asked the same question. If I cut my hair because of a role, no, I cut it because I wanted to. It's not about me right now. Nancy, they pay you money, you cut your hair, Joe. If they pay me money, I'll scrape it now. It's already low. When people might say, I'll, I'll scrape skin cut for you. You don't understand. Call me, okay? Producer, call me. <laughs> well, you've already told us a story about coming into Hollywood. Was it easy for you? Would you say? Oh, my, it wasn't it was easy. Because, um, okay, I'm going to be straight mm -hmm. and I'll say the truth and okay. nothing but the truth. Okay. Now, um, the impression that we had was the fact that. Okay, if you know this person, the person can hook you up, mm -hmm. the person can introduce you to this person. But yeah. trust me, that didn't work for me. If it worked for other people, it didn't work for me at mm -hmm. all. Because it got to a stage where I knew everybody. Mm -hmm. And I was still there sitting in my house like, yo, what's going on? Mm -hmm. You know, it was just left to Tinsel. Yeah. You know, so um, now that I took a break off Tinsel to... Because it got to a stage also that um, they saw me. I, I felt they saw the reason... Um, they saw Tinsu has a reason to stereotype Mira Jibadi as an actor. Right. You know, so um, that's one of the major reasons why I took a break to be able to be flexible, to do, to do things, other yeah. things. People yeah, don't you know. just only put you to Tinsu. Would yeah. you say Tinsu is what brought you into limelight? I would say that every day. All day, yeah. every day. Because, I mean, because of the platform. Because I was a regular model. Mm -hmm. You know, Tinsu introduced me into the acting world. Okay. Yeah, you know, so, so and Tinsu is like, you know when they say, Soja go, Soja come, perhaps yeah, remain. Yeah, yeah. So even as I've gone like this, I'll still come back. You still, you still have to go back. But the thing is, Tinsel has been on for so many years. So yes. It's in everybody's face every day. People think every day. That every day. And it's funny how people say, oh, Tinsel, when will Tinsel end? It's like, are you tired of watching Tinsel? Tinsel yeah. Yes, you know, Tinsel is, as long as people keep enjoying the show, it will go on and on. And they should be happy that it's coming from this part of the continent, this exactly. part of the world. Yes. You know, because that puts us, on the platform that we made history, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Great, amazing. Now tell us, what advice do you have for up and coming actors, you know, who want a place, not just any place, a good place in Hollywood, what advice would you give to them? I won't lie to you, eh? Do you know, a worker pass role mm -hmm. can get you the biggest job you can ever get in your career. Okay. You know, so. Um, so how do you get there from a worker pass? <laughs> how do you eventually get there? 
Talking about walk hours, nobody, no actor should ever underestimate any scene. Even if it's just one scene where you just have to show, where you just have to literally walk up as, you know, if producers and directors are actually out there watching, you know, so you have to give it a hundred. Yes. And the acting business, you're as good as your last job. Exactly. You know, so you always strive to get better with the next one. Mm -hmm. So um, just work on yourself, work on, work on your craft, uh, make the mirror your best friend, you know, read books. Okay. You know, stay focused, mm -hmm. persevere. It's not easy, especially in Nigeria. You have to, if you are not strong, go back to your village, go and cook and done on the fire, come back to Lagos. Are you advising <laughs> us to do something, please, that is, does not belong to the Lord? No, I'm just saying, because I trust me, in this, oh. this is our industry. Mm -hmm. I keep saying this. Now, one of my favorite channels is National Geographic. Why? Because it gives me an idea of how our industry is. We're mm -hmm. like in the wild, mm -hmm. you know. And, um... I think I kind of see the reason why we make so much impact okay. internationally. That's because we grind and we go in. We, 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 we go hard mm -hmm. or we lay back. You know what's up. Exactly. You know, so um, it boils down to you to stay focused, stay strong, work on yourself every day, every day. Make the mirror of your best friend, stay determined and pray. Because there are more things happening in the spiritual than in the physical. Yeah, so forget about going to a village to cook yourself. <laughs> no, of course I didn't say that now. I was just saying, I was just literally stating the fact that they needed to be strong and, you know, have their backs hardened up. Let me give you guys exclusive. Okay. Um, so Ice Prince is doing his biopic. Biopic? Okay. Yes, you know, so I'll be directing. Directing? Yes, I'll be directing. Why? I'm also writing the story as well, alongside George Sonomkura. Hey! Maybe I'll carry one from one hour. No, he's not a writer, director, actor, producer, biopic. What is going on? No, but then... Wait, wait. You guys what? should watch out from now on, from the stables of Amberville Productions, man. We're going hey. in. We're going in, yes. But that is so good. I mean, directing. What? Did you... Do direct? Did you go and get some? Um, actually, did yes. Actually, did yes. Really? All when? these times I'll be running to you and can't come in. But what do you think I would do? Did you think I'm going to snap picture on Don't that? I'm going to go and charge your phone now and enjoy the uh, weather. Nancy, forget all those things. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll arrange ourselves. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, you know, so um, it will be called Me versus Me. Me versus Me is also the first track on his album. Okay. Yeah, you know, so that the second one I don't think I can say, but the third, hmm. Is that not too much exclusive for you guys? No, it's not enough. <laughs> it's actually not enough. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you guys heard about um, 10 Days in Sun City, a wise film. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know, alongside RMD. Yes. Uh, what character did you play there? Uh, how, how can I forget everybody? Faz, the bad guy. Adesua. Uh, Adesua. AY. AY, Two Faced DBR. Nice. Uh, everybody. Everybody's on that film. Uti, mm -hmm. um, Alex. So you did, know, you Messi Johnson. did you train? Did you train people? Like, uh, well, actually, like that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, my main purpose there was to um, choreograph the fight scenes. Okay. Yeah, you know, so it was also a good opportunity that I just said, okay, you know what, from there, yeah, yeah. okay, <laughs> do a thing. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it was really, really nice. I played um, Otumba's lead goon. I was right. in charge of all the boys, you know. Nice. So yeah, we had a few fight scenes, and you guys. Any casualty? No, no casualty. no casualty. No yeah. casualty. Okay. Come on, man. I'm a black belt, so, man. Only being black belt <laughs> director, right back, actor, model, biopic. Man, Nancy. But do you do you think? I was talking about a biopic. Do you think Ice Prince is ready for a biopic at this point? Ice point? Prince? Yes. Ice Prince is more than ready. Mm. Like, I don't know how much I can say, but you guys really need to know how much we've been putting into this. Is he going to be acting in it as well? <laughs> it's his biopic, so of course he'll be acting in it. Some people don't it. want to. Some people want no, to No, no, he will. Um, okay, the way it's going to work, yeah. it will be like in three different phases. So okay. he'll come in the final phase. Right. Yeah, then yeah. as an ice prince. So as an ice prince, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But trust me, we're going in story-wise from the beginning to the very end. Everybody that had... Some kind of impact from the to the Jeremiah gangs to the MIs to the Jesse Jacks to I'll the do. I'll do all of them Woo. while going in. Love it. You guys will see how Ice Prince used to perform and win the hearts of all them girls in Joss. Like there's Love one it. trick he used to use. If I you guys show us the trick. Oh <laughs> my God! I love it already. I can't wait to see that the Ice Prince biopic. I cannot wait to see it. All right, guys. While we wait to see the biopic, let us watch the video of the day. We'll be right back with more fun.
You know why some people are single and why some people don't have a Valentine? Cause you're busy looking for the wrong things. You're too busy looking for the wrong people. You don't want to close your eyes. You don't want to listen to your soul. You're too busy looking for the wrong things. You define somebody with the money. Because money is in all there is to life. Uh, there's more I'd rather choose somebody I'd rather choose somebody that loves me for me Somebody will no go leave me Somebody will go look in my eyes and tell me I be somebody yeah. <laughs> If you're just joining us, you're watching Training Brought to You by Etel, and I still have Nero, the black doctor, the director, the writer, the producer, the tea seller, the actor, and the model, Tessie and boss. the father, and husband. Ah, there's too much. I'm tired. Oh, man. No, no, I can't take this anymore. No, my head wants to explode. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm getting married tomorrow, so that I can <laughs> add all these plenty. You remind plenty. someone that's good for your soul, right? Please leave good for yourself alone, okay? Just check it. All right, thank you very much. Well, right now, we'll move on to the fast five questions where you get to answer a couple questions where we get to know more about you. Good or <laughs> this iPad. <laughs> You know, pass our question segment right now, happening right now. We'll be giving you 60 seconds, and it's happening right now. Dream car. Range. Apple or Samsung. Apple. Genevieve or Omotala. Omotala. Happiest day. Wedding day. Secondary school. Mount St. Gabriel Secondary School. Favorite color? Blue. First crush? First crush? Yeah. Helene. She's somewhere. Remind me to tell you guys something about her. Okay, Arsenal or Barcelona? None of the above. Truth or dare? Yeah. <laughs> Favorite Nigerian actor? Me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> time off. Oh, you did well. <laughs> I like how guys were into football. As number seven, none of the above. <laughs> what club do you support? No, no, no. I you will like never, I never did, never have, never will. Why? Um, it has never been part of my orientation. I've never loved watching football. Really? Yeah, from school. You know, um, most of these guys that are for me as now, Barcelona like today, yeah. um, they picked up these habits from school, okay. peer pressure and all of that stuff. Right. But you, it didn't work with me. You know, I had friends that were like, yo, you know what? We're going to watch this match today. As long as you're supporting Arsenal, or as long as you're supporting Manchester or Old Trafford or whatever the other ones are called, yeah. drinks on me. So we'll start like this. I'll be watching the TV. You know, I'll be drinking. By the time the match is over, they'll find me like this. Ah, well, oh, sorry, who win? <laughs> so you've never I've been? I've never, I've never, 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 Was ever. Was Helen by your side? Helen. Oh, forget. Hey, that Helen, goodness gracious. No. What did Helen do to you? She was my first crush in primary school. And what happened? She broke your heart. No, she didn't break my heart. We just had funny ways of expressing our love. She was not good for your soul. <laughs> <laughs> or you were not good for her soul. We were actually. We just had funny ways of expressing. Uh, love. Primary school girl expressing our love. Primary daddy and mommy, if you're watching, why you sent me to school? He was know. looking for good for his soul to express his love. Primary in school. Primary yeah. two. Hey, I can't even I don't remember. Spoil, don't tell. Even the first time I tasted alcohol was in primary school. Yeah. Me and my friend, we shared a bottle of beer. Ah, no way. I'm telling you, I was, I was high the whole day. Ah. I was, that was like primary four. Oh, um, my God. This is what happens when I bring my friends. Like, they talk. They, this is what I like. <laughs> talk for, talk for. That's <laughs> enough. <laughs> Family Bush. No. Talk more. <laughs> okay, guys. Let us move on to the next deal, which is the tribe, where you give us four minutes of some social media abbreviations. Mm. Yes. You know this drill already. Are you ready? Okay. E O D. End of discussion. Ooh, cha. F Y I. For your information. Ooh, cha. B T W. By the way. Ooh, cha. I M O. I may. Don't fall my hand, please. I am O. Getting ready for it. I am O. Oh my, I don't know. I am O. In most states. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you just spot everything. Which one is I am? In my opinion, 
God and I say all these things, you are for you don't have me too. Because you are the host of this show, that's why you just be doing it. The one that you don't know is the one I'm for me. All these ones I've been. Who knows I am? Eh? If this was a live show, I will put it out there Who for the viewers to, to 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 confirm this. It's still a live show. If I'm going to tweet about this, I am Nancy. Yes. You're in trouble with me today. Trending. I'm coming back for you. Don't program. break your leg. <laughs> <laughs> I am always in my opinion. In my opinion. Yes. I, who says that? Last one. AKA. Alpha Kappa Alpha. Sorry. Um, <laughs> also known as. Also, yes. Yeah. So but AKA is a confraternity in the States. Alpha yes, Alpha, I know. Alpha, I know so. about that too. But yes. I please. tried now. Is that all? No, last one. FAQ. Frequently asked questions. I never expected you to get that one. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Congratulations <laughs> on your IQ and on your brain. I never expected it. All right, guys. Those are most of the social media abbreviations we have for you today. Let us go on a short break. And when we get back, uh, things will get a bit nasty in here. Oh, really? Yes. Bring it on, Be right baby. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. This is the Nasty Comments part of the show where we get to read the nasty things that some people have to say about our guest, Bimbo Ajibade Emmanuel, mm -hmm. aka. How come I never get to read comments on Pontilla Common Trending? Because you stay away from it. Okay. That's why. Bring it on, baby. Well, there you go. Please read and then mm -hmm. them. Anyway, I trust you. Okay, the first one. You look better on dreads. This is your new hairstyle makes you look like a small boy. Just saying. I think I like looking like a small boy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think that is a compliment. Oh, shit. I don't think acting is for you, bro. I don't know if I'm the only one thinking this way. Why I say? I say your father. That's how I mean. Dab on it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people I don't really use the chop for this Lagos how many years. I don't marry on top. They feed my wife. And, in fact. Next. <laughs> Bero is trying really hard to interpret movie role. Which movie? Which? Can you be precise? Are you computer literate? Did you type this yourself? Come out straight if you expect an answer. Next. <laughs> Mr. Gbenro, Mr. Gbenro, sharp guy. You know the door. Nice one. My brother ate too much for this. Somebody held you. Nasty comment. Yes, now. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I think my brother oh, is not going to be able to do this. How would he be hailing you? Nasty comment. It's true. I call my name two times. Mr. Gbenro, Mr. Gbenro, sharp guy. You know the door. Nice one. What? My brother. I'm if I call this Edgero. We will control. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time it's happening. You're so lucky. Oh. Well, <laughs> so, tell us, how did it make you feel? Um, it's funny how I don't really read comments, mm -hmm. you know, but when I do times like this or when someone brings out their phones to show me something, sure, yeah. yeah, it's always interesting, you okay. know. And um, it boils down to the fact that you have to realize that some of these people are not computer literate. What I was saying, I wasn't trying to insult him, but it just might be the truth. Okay. Yeah, I bet me like that too. Yeah. I've been, I've been like back in them days when I used to work out by the canal in Surulay. I've, yeah. I've been around boys and I see how they roll, you know. Yeah. So these people are just trying to feel important. Some of them are even expecting you to reply them so mm -hmm. that they can, you know, be like, yeah, oh, he replied me. I know how it was for me back then if, I think I remember one time, I've mm -hmm. never told him, let me say it here. Okay. I remember I messaged him Back then, I was in secondary school. Text message. One of those people used to call on celebrities. Facebook. On Facebook. Okay. On Facebook, right? Facebook was there then. Was it Facebook? No, I don't think so. When was secondary school for you? Uh, what year? I don't know. Don't, don't expose my age yet. <laughs> then it can't be Facebook. No. Be then it was in university. Oh, university. Right? Okay. I know I messaged him, and it took about a month or two, but when he finally replied, and I said, I didn't eat that day. You don't mean Are it. you kidding me? RMD, I showed my mom. My mom said, Yes, that's my soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and for me it was really, really, um, it was some kind of self-motivational process because mm -hmm. I know there were times when I wanted to keep struggling, keep going hard, and I'm like, ah, for Aram to reply me, it means I have what it takes yeah. to be where but he is. But you didn't even have today. to be nasty, you were cool, and he replied you. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. That's a lesson to everybody. That's a lesson to everybody, yeah, you yes, know, you don't have to be nasty to expect to get, to, to get attention from people. Nancy. 
Oh, you don't have to be nasty. I give everybody <laughs> attention. <laughs> Kidding, but still, you know, some people. Well, thank you for that, Bero. It was so good to have you on the show today. Thank you very much. Uh, what do we say? Us. Us. Kaba. No, it's only us. So if you, if, if you put Kaba, they will tell you to do 50 push up. We'll just do it. <laughs> add something. Us Kaba sounded good. Use it again. Us. Us, us Bero. Us, us Master Bero. Us Nancy. Us Trending. Us Hip TV. Us from me. Why you want the top five? And when I come back, there will be more us for you. On the top five today, we take a look at the top five fast rising Nollywood actors. At number five, Alex Ekubo. And at number four, Deyemi Okolawo. Coming in at number three, Blossom Chukujeku. And at number two, Daniel K. Daniel. And coming in at the very first place, OC UKJ. Hey guys, well it's time for me to say goodbye. Thank you so very much for tuning in today and for watching and for sticking with me. I had been on my hot seat. I hope you guys had a great time with him because I did. I got to laugh all through. If you missed today's show, I am sorry. You definitely missed a lot. Just stay tuned to us for more repeat episodes. I'm going to miss you guys. But right now, I have to say goodbye. Make sure to join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at HipTV and on Instagram at OfficialHipTV. You can also follow me on Instagram if you wish at Nancy Isume Official. You can also watch us online at www.hiptv.tv. Until I see you next time, do not forget that I love you, but God loves you more. Goodbye.